Yeah, that's right. You see the screen. <laughs> oh, so you have no idea how long has this has been sitting in my inventory waiting for me to play it. But I figure, hey, it's the holidays. Better play it. And since um, if I edit this in time, it should be released on Christmas Eve for anybody who celebrates Christmas and all that stuff. But even if you don't celebrate Christmas, again, happy holidays, and we're here with Hattiful Boyfriend Holiday Star. Um, for those of you who may be new or old to my channel, you guys may know that I played the original Hattiful Boyfriend to its entirety. I got all the endings, all the romances, even like the secret ones and all this and that, and yeah, basically I played that game and like, if you guys don't know what ha like, those of you who do know, you, you're gonna be in for a treat. For those of you who don't know what Hatful Boyfriend is, uh, it is a visual novel, um, a visual dating novel that, uh, has some very interesting love interests. I'm just gonna leave it at that, so... Um, I'll leave linked in the description below, and maybe I'll pop a little thing somewhere, um, to leave a link at the end of the video, at the end of this video, to my original playthrough of Hotful Boyfriend. If you haven't, if you haven't seen or played through the first one, have a playthrough of it. You guys can check it out if you wish, and... Let's get to it, because the holidays are almost over, because I didn't time this right, because I'm a terrible person. <laughs> Alright. So there's no... So... This is all I've seen so far, is that there's four stories, and this is the only one selectable, so we're gonna go for it. Uh, I'm trying to remember, because like I haven't played since I finished it, and I think that was like a year or two ago, maybe? I wanna say a year? Year or two? I don't know. It's been a while, so. But I'm happy to get back. Christmas Thieves Attack. <coughs> Gotta get my reading voice. Excuse me. <coughs> Hope that wasn't too loud. I tried turning away from the microphone, but sometimes it doesn't quite work. Okay. Okay, Christmas Thieves Attack. Brutal Tiva thieves here to steal the city's beloved Christmas trees. Sorry if you're going to hear my mouse, but that's what I'm going to be using. We were th uh, blah, blah. we thought that they were just an urban legend until now. They're after the tree, and that rhymes with T, which stands for trouble, right? <laughs> right here in Little Dove Hatchiman Ta City. Oh my god, I keep calling it ha Town! Christmas trees disappearing. A dark shadow wriggling just out of sight. Can our faithful heroes from St. Pigeonation put an end to this mis mystery before it puts an end to them? Please enter your name. Um, when I first, when I played the first one, I went, yeah, I went with Hiyoko. Um, because that was the default name and I was like, eh, we'll keep it. Or no, I think I changed it. Did I change it? I don't remember. Either way, I'm going with the default name. It's just easier. Tosaka. Tosaka Hyoko. Yas. Hey, Ryuta. What time you got? Um. It's almost six. You're not running late, are you? It's already dark out. Tell me about it. We were all talking about the nice autumn leaves and all just a few days back, and now I'm darned if it ain't winter. Christmas, even, is just a few days away. Well, for me, too. Swift indeed is the passage of time. Well, I better be heading back. Azami will be getting out of work soon. Be careful, Mr. Rabu. There's all kinds of hooligans out at about this time of night. No sweat. Worst comes to worst, I could count on a zombie to save me. Are you sure you're not relying on her a little too much? 
We put up our Christmas tree today. Please have a look at it as you leave. You did? I never saw it on my way in. I'll have to get a real good look at it to make up. Okay. Mr. Urushihara <clears throat> and I put a lot of time into decorating it. I hope you like it. You bet I will. See y'all around. December certainly does feel like the end of the year. I wonder how much busier it'll be this time next year. You are a sophomore, correct? <clears throat> Have you been thinking about your plans for after graduation already? No, not really. <clears throat> I just want to make sure I can take care of my mother. Worries are an important part of youth as well. And sometimes problems will simply disappear as you try to solve them. You never know. Um, Mr. Uroshihara, could I ask you for some advice? I've had a lot on my mind. But of course. I am more than happy to provide whatever assistance I... Uh-oh. Uh-oh! That came from out front. I believe it did. Let us go see what happened. What has happened? It's pitch it's pitch dark outside. It's hard to see anything, even with the light from the cafe door. What on earth? Uh shit. Is that Rabu? <clears throat> oh. A Lutino what? Lutino Booder Buda Beda A bird is collapsed on the sidewalk. Oh it is Mr. Rabu, okay. Mr. Rabu! Are you alright? Have you been injured? Ugh I let my guard down. They got me from behind. They got you? Do you need an ambulance? It must have been some birdie settling a grudge from your biker gang days. Oh, I forgot about that. No, that's not it. They're the legendary Christmas thieves. Come to our town. The legend, the legendary Christmas thieves. What's that? A new TV show? No, no, no. They're real. They're out in the streets right now, spreading misery and destruction. They've been coming up on the news a lot too. Haven't you seen the headlines? The Christmas thieves invade Little Dove Hatchiman City at last. Um, no, this is the first I've heard of them. I think. Forget the fee thieves. This is the first time I've heard the names of this. This is the first time I've heard the name of this town. <laughs> I guess it just never comes up in conversation or anything. <laughs> the more you know. Do they show up every year at this time? I don't remember hearing about them last year. This is the first time they come here. I don't know too much either, but apparently they move around each year. I worked at Mr. Urushihara's uh, shop, Torimi Cafe, during the summer. The job was only until August, but apparently he decided he could use help for December as well. The wilderness gets very cold this time of year, making it dangerous to come home late. So I left it to Ryuta this time. That, and I need time to study! And it sounds like to Torimi Cafe is the mysterious... Um, is the mysterious thieves' latest victim. This smacks... This smacks of drama? I think they meant to say smells. The smells of drama. Smacks of drama. Drama, excitement, and adventure! Uh, be, what? <laughs> I object? What? Oh no. Well, what was that for? Just getting the feel for it. There's been an incident, right? I need to make sure my finger point- My finger pointing is sufficiently dramatic for when I need to use it. Eh? Please don't go around pointing and shouting at stuff. You'll give me a heart attack. Tell me, who's the victim? And the suspect? The victim is Mr. Rabu. He was attacked from behind while texting a picture of... 
Mr. Urashihara's Christmas tree to Zami. And when we found him, the tree was gone. Uh, hold on! <laughs> what was that for? What do you mean the tree is gone? Please don't shout everything. You could just ask! Sorry, I got excited. Tee! Jeez. Well, stealing the tree definitely implicates the Christmas thieves. They must be wandering the town, stealing any trees they see. It's, it's horrible. It's probably the Grinch. Mr. Odashihara and I worked really hard to decorate that tree, too. And now all the customers who are looking forward to seeing it will be disappointed. Monstrous! How could they steal Mr. U Urashihara's incredibly classy hand-decorated tree? Let's look for the thieves! Christmas is at the weekend! They must still be in town! Hmm, I wonder. They probably are still prowling around here looking for trees. Yes, I want to get Mr. Urashihara's tree back anyway. Let's find them, Hiyoko! We can start today! You two are awfully loud today. Can you can you not grant the rest of us a little peace and quiet? Oh! Damn you! <laughs> oh, it's Sakia! Listen, they've appeared! The white demons stand posed against- uh, uh, posed to shatter the silence of the most holy night! <laughs> you can't just go around giving things nicknames like a certain someone next door, Hiyoko. Christmas trees are being stolen around town, Sakia. Okay, now that I know it's Sakia. <clears throat> Better get my Sakia voice up. Maybe you've already heard? Oh, you must be referring to that drivel the local rag devoted an entire page to. Disgusting. Is there mo not more important news to be run now of all seasons? How te how telling is it that so much attention is devoted to such foolishness? You don't like Christmas, Zakia? What? From where do you think I hail, Plebin? 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 Eh? France, right? Oh, of course. Christmas probably means a lot more to you than than to us Japanese people. The council room is already decorated with the, with the most fabulous tree. A la belle overlooks nothing. I even designed to, I even deigned to place it near the window so that the masses may gaze up at it in awe and wonder. Well, gee, I wonder where this is going. Be grateful. He who does not celebrate Christmas is no true bird. That is the importance Christmas holds for us. In other words, Sakia gets extra jolly this time of year. Better take notes! Trees are being stolen from in front of shops and on the sidewalk and other easily visible places, so you should probably be careful too, Sakia. Don't let it get stolen. Huh. Do not place me on the same level as you- Oh my god! <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna say that. Uh, as you Japanese people, with your infantile understanding of private security? Did I not say I overlook nothing? I know not who this villain may be, but he shall step not one centimeter within my territory. The council room security is flawless, I tell you. Flawless! Sakia, we can call that sort of... Oh, we can call that sort of line of flag. Here in Japan. Let's start an investigation by asking people around town, Ryuta. Good idea. Let us know if you hear anything new or get robbed, Sakia! How many times must I tell you my tree will not be stolen? Foreshadowing. Oh! Upon leaving the building, Ryuta and I were are greeted by the sight of Oh, oh no, Okusan! Prancing around on the track! Prancing, or maybe skipping? I'm not sure. At any rate, he appears to be in pointlessly high spirits. Ho 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 ho! Okay, uh. 
I'm trying to think. I'm trying to remember what voice I had for him. Cool, cool, cool. You're in a good to mood today, San. Did something good happen? Cool. It's Christmas. It's Chris. Christmas is almost here. What? Another Christmas fiend? Is there something about Christmas that wakes the ancestral jollity inside a dove's heart? Everything is sparkly on Christmas. Oksan is excited. And everything smells like delicious food. Oksan is very excited. Western pastry shops always look so tempting this time of year. You spend a lot of time in department stores, right, Sam? Have you heard anything about the Christmas thieves? Who? Villains out to steal Oksan's delicious grub? Villains out to steal pretty Christmas trees. Uh, Christmas trees, yes! Oksan knows about them. The trees at Oksan's favorite high, high, high society seagull department store disappeared! High society seagull department store? Do you know where that is, Ryuta? Yeah, I've worked at the samples table there. I'll show you the way. Here we come! High Society Seagull Department Store! I wonder if we're, who else we're gonna run into. <laughs> ah, so need a drink. Hmm. The department stores always feel a little unrealistic. A little decadent, maybe. It makes it so hard to go in. I know the feeling. Especially how I dress when I go to the mall. I just go to like the mall or any store and like baggy sweatshirts and sweatpants and I think I remember to brush my hair. And it's just like I walk into these fancy department stores and I just feel so uncomfortable. They're, they're okay really, just don't think about that and it'll be fine. He read my mind? More importantly, we need to ask a clerk about the thefts. Right, right. Um, excuse me. Yes, may I help you? Do you know where you are, young lady? Um, this is the High Society Seagull Department Store, right? That is correct. The High Society Seagull Department Store. Say it once more. The High Society Seagull Department Store. Good. This store is is of high society by high society for high society. It is no place for obviously low society humans. Please leave. Ouch. Bitch! <laughs> <laughs> this is blatant speciesisms. I hope you're ready to swallow your words or defend them with steel, Cretan. Draw, man, draw before I stick you with it like a rotisserie chicken. Holy shit. Calm down, Hiyoko. Getting into a fight here won't do us any good. Please don't act like San. Just what does Oksan have, have that makes him so much more high society than me? Please, we just want to ask a question. We'll leave right away. Did the Christmas tree thieves really break into this store? They did not break into the store, no. They were not allowed in. However, as you know, the store faces the store faces onto the street. The three Christmas trees we had arranged outside were stolen. Three placed outside? Just like at Tor Tortomi Cafe. Yeah, it looks like they really are aiming for easy targets first. They seem to be quite crafty. I think this might be this might get difficult, Ryuta. Ah, I can feel the thrill of the chase. My hunter-gatherer blood boils! Right on time. I knew it was a good idea to ask you along. <laughs> the stolen trees were of little value. We have already sent away for new ones. Do you think you could wait a little? But, uh, a wait a little before setting them up? The thieves might come back. True, but Christmas is almost here. If not now, when would we put them out? Christmas trees are just so much rut. Oh. 
Kyoko, okay. Are just so much rubbish once it's the t once it's the 26. They're not rubbish. You could use them every year. Exactly. You got my you got my line of thinking, Ryuta. Um, were there any witnesses? The trees were in a blind spot between security cameras, so at last we have nothing. Too busy staring down your own noses to look out the window, were you? I hope I never see you here again, young lady. Well, that was a disappointment. About all we found is that the thieves aim for their trees placed in vulnerable spots outside. Maybe we should leave. Ooh. Um. No, we're not going to leave the store. We're going to stop by clothing. All these pretty clo all these pretty clothes make me feel out of face. It's out of place, not face. He did it again. Can birds even wear clothes like these? Are they just for decoration? Shops are always so pretty this time of year. I feel like I'm looking into a different world. They do look a little unreal. Do you like Christmas, Hyoko? My family my family's Shin Buddhist, so I've never really celebrated it, but do but uh but I do like it when every birdie's all festive. I'm not exactly Christian, but I like the atmosphere too. Actually, I don't think that many people celebrate it for religious reasons anymore. And there's all kinds of work this this time of year too. I always end up really busy. You dress up as Santa, right? Oh no. We better get a screenshot of him in a Santa suit. <laughs> huh, yep. With a mini skirt? Yep. Why does Ryuta get all the female main character jobs? <laughs> That must be fun. I'd like to try doing something cute and high school girlish like that sometime too. I'm not sure how costumes are high school girlish, but I could refer you. We could go together next year. Cosplaying as Santa right, right before junior year exams? Just thinking about it makes my heart flutter. <laughs> There's nothing more to find here. Let's look somewhere else. All right, where to next? The th the thefts have gone onto the news. If we ask around, we should find some eyewitnesses. <laughs> Sounds good. Uh oh. What? Huh? Some glass objects splinters with a monumental crash behind us as we make for the exit. I turn around and... Uh... Okay, I just had I just had to spend I just had to spend some time listening to that. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. <laughs> what are those? They look a little like doves, but not really. They maybe they are doves. In any case, a pair of bizarre white creatures are bludgeoning themselves against a number of glass Christmas trees and reindeer. What are those? Are they doves? Um. I'm not sure. I've never seen anything like that. Uh, Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! <laughs> the creatures frolic through the Christmas display like fuzzy wrecking balls, leaving behind nothing but broken glass and lost profits. There! The white children! Oh dear, that's... <laughs> Oh dear, that's not good. That's no good. You two! Where are your parents? Merry Christmas! In any case, I'll have to take you to the employee's lounge. 
High society does have rules. Merry Christmas? The creatures trailed dejectedly after the security guard. What were those? I can't believe people let their kids run loose like that. I love to see the parents' faces when they get when they get billed. Guess Christmas gets everyone pretty excited. Sort of like demons which rampage during the full moon. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's so accurate. It hurts. Ryuta and I spent some time asking around town, but no one had ever caught sight of the thieves. <clears throat> Apparently, trees aren't just being stolen from outside, but from inside houses as well. If only we knew what the culprits look like. 